Blue shirt, khaki pants. Are you my mystery boyfriend? <laughs> yes, I'm there. Thanks for meeting me here. Normally, I trade emails first to get a feel for you, but my friend Eric assured me you weren't a serial killer. <laughs> he said you needed someone for this weekend. Is that right? Right. So, given the fast turnaround time, it's easier for us both to just meet in person and hash out all the details. Cool. Well, it's great to meet you. Should I call you Blue Shirt, or do you have a name? Hmm, I like that. It suits you. Well, I hate to come in guns blazing right as I sit down, but this is not my first rodeo, and I've had more than my fair share of guys thinking my ad is just a cover for prostitution. So, before we go on, Let's lay out a few ground rules, and forgive the monologue, but I've had to say this about a bazillion times. <laughs> Rule number one, I'm not an escort. I will be the best damn arm candy that money can buy, no matter what specific role you want me to play, but there's no scenario here that ends with me fucking you. It'll be a strictly platonic relationship between us. We'll talk about the physical side of things when we get to roll three, but I want to make it crystal clear. When we're alone, the character that I'm playing doesn't exist. All the touching and flirting happens when we're putting on a show, but behind closed doors, there is no physical interaction of any kind. I pride myself on providing an authentic, immersive experience, and I understand that sometimes wires can get crossed and you may get the impression that what I'm saying in front of others means that I actually have those feelings for you in private. But let me be blunt. It's just acting for me. I have a one-and-done policy on this stuff, so if you try to make a move on me, I'm gone, and I will almost guarantee to embarrass you on my way out. Got it? Excellent. Okay, rule number two. I'm not going to be your mistress, even if it is just an act. If you just broke up with someone and I need to be the new girl to make them jealous, I'm totally okay with that. But if you're currently in a relationship of any kind, even a situationship that has any sort of moral gray area, I'm out the door. Deals off. You're chronically single. <laughs> okay, never heard that one before, but awesome. That brings me to rule number three. Body autonomy is incredibly important to me. Any physical touch, kissing, cuddles, hand-holding, and all that gooey shit in front of your friends or family is totally up for negotiation. But I need to know the scope of that physical interaction before it happens so that neither of us crosses a line into uncomfortable territory. I've had a few different people think that they could grope or kiss me without permission, and it ends badly for them every time. By that same token, I would never dream of crossing a physical boundary of yours, so it's better to get a clear idea of what we're both comfortable with before we get in front of anyone else. Do you agree? Excellent. Okay, now with that unpleasant stuff out of the way, it's your turn to monologue. <laughs> Paint me a picture of what you're looking for. I'm just going to take some notes while you talk. Okay. Big family reunion weekend. How big are we talking? Wow. That's a lot of people. <laughs> no, that won't be a problem. Okay. And how many days? Three? All right. And about how much of the weekend will we spend in public together? Are we talking about meals and the occasional group chat, or...? What do you mean by recreational activities? 
<laughs> I'm sorry. What? Apple picking? Okay. Uh, I'm not sure I know what ladder ball is, but I'll do some research. What else? Poker night. Yeah, I'm definitely up for that. Ugh, I'd really prefer to avoid hiking, if at all possible. <laughs> Alright, so, Friday, early morning arrival, ending Sunday late evening. That's about 8 meals, probably 30 hours around your family, give or take. Got it. Okay, let's get into the fun part. Who am I supposed to be at this reunion? Oh, I can be pretty much anyone that you want. I can be your girlfriend, your boss, your coworker, your best friend's sister that you've got the hots for, a roommate, fuck buddy, next door neighbor. Or we can go darker. I can be the troublemaker who tries to start incendiary political discussions to piss off your family. Or, if you're looking to start some real trouble, I can be the scantily clad sex pot who hits on your brother. Or even your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Girlfriend it is. So... Are we thinking it's a short-term or long-term relationship? Three-ish months? Okay. And at the end of the reunion, are we still together or do we need to stage a public breakup? Okay. So basically, you want to bring a girlfriend just to get them to stop asking when you're getting a girlfriend. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. I'm uh, curious about something. What? Why do you need a fake date instead of a real one? <laughs> no, I'm not propositioning you, but you're attractive. You seem educated and approachable. You've got all your teeth and all your hair. So why aren't you bringing a real girlfriend to this family reunion? Ah, uh, yeah, I get that. Work can eat up all your time if you let it. Is your family trying to pressure you to settle down and give them grandbabies? <laughs> it's a tale as old as time, the matchmaking moms. Have you told them anything about me yet, or is it a surprise for them? Surprise? Okay, that actually makes it a little easier, believe it or not. Do you have an age in mind? I can reliably play mid-twenties, early thirties, but with the right wig and the right accent, I can probably pull off as young as 19 or as old as 40. Okay, good. I prefer to stick closer to my real age anyways. So, what is your ideal girlfriend like? Personality-wise, I mean. Oh, sure. I can give you some examples. I've been a flighty baker who makes cookies to cheer you up. A Susie Sunshine Florist who doesn't let anything get her down. A camp counselor with a proclivity for outdoor sex. An overly anxious grad student who doesn't, doesn't shut up about her thesis. Let's see, what else? I've been the preacher's daughter. A gamer girl who can be anyone at a first-person shooter but can't quite hold down a 9 to 5. A romance author who believes everything ends in happily ever after. 
I've been an exotic dancer who oozes sexual charisma. I've been a slutty bartender who probably fucks you in the back closet the first night we met. And I've played a dominatrix a surprising number of times. But I can do anything, really. By the way, you reacted when I did this voice. I'm wondering if this was the one you might want. This vibe is definitely more the buttoned up CEO with a penchant for tying you up behind closed doors. <laughs> okay, okay. Fair enough. That would be distracting. Well, if it's the dealer's choice, the vibe I'm getting from you is that you'd pick a sweet, easygoing, attentive girlfriend who won't ruffle any feathers, but who's also a little bit of a spitfire. Lady in the streets, freak in the sheets, if you know what I mean. You got it. Flirty florist it is. So, now that I have a full scope of what you need, let's talk price. I assume Eric already gave you the general estimate. An hour a day, let's see, under an hour. How will we get there? So, there won't be any transportation fees since you're driving. I don't have to buy anything special. Okay, with the friend of a friend discount, the total will be $2,500. I ask for half up front, half after completion, provided you're completely satisfied with the services rendered. Yes, I take PayPal, Vandemo, Zelle. That's perfect. Send it to Viv Deva. Okay, so all that's left is homework. <laughs> I'll send over a spreadsheet and you'll fill in the blanks with all the info I need. But don't worry, I've made it really easy to follow. You'll just plug in the important details of your life and I'll build off that. Exactly. Friends, family, occupation, boss's name, things like that. After I get that back, I'll set up a time to call you, and we can go over my character history and ideas for our backstory, and iron out all the final details. Okay, I think you've answered all my pressing questions. Do you have any questions for me? Oh, um, I normally try not to give out any real information about myself. It usually just makes it more difficult to remember our story, you know? <laughs> fair enough. I did ask if you were single. Turned about is fair play. Well, I am also a workaholic. I've been in grad school for the last two years, and that was like having two full-time jobs. And then this one takes up all the empty space between semesters, so... Exactly. When you spend all your free time on fake relationships, there's no time for real ones. And I don't mix business with pleasure. Ever. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone assumes I'm just a struggling actress, but no. This is actually the perfect side hustle. People usually only want me during the wedding season in the summer or for holiday parties, which are coincidentally during the holidays. <laughs> and for a while there, I was exceedingly believable at being the stressed out grad student. <laughs> but somehow being someone else for a bit seemed to temper the stress a little, believe it or not. Plus, it's always fun to get a little peek into other people's lives. Well, I'm not going to tell you what field I'm getting my degree in, but I can tell you that this master's thesis is about to kill me, so I'm very excited to step away from it for a bit and work on your case. No, 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 no. No more questions about me. I've already revealed too much of my secret identity. <laughs> but don't worry, you're in a very good hands with me. 
And I think we're going to have a lot of fun together this weekend. <laughs> oh, thanks. You're not too bad yourself. <clears throat> Alright. I think we're done, unless there's anything else you want to add. Okay. What's your email address so I can send the spreadsheet over? Okay. I just sent it. And I know you said work is all consuming, but if you can get that back to me by tonight, then I'll have time to work on everything from my end. And then we can talk tomorrow to go over everything. Do you think that's doable? Awesome. All right. I'll walk you to your car. So yeah, it's going to be a tight turnaround, but thankfully you're not asking for anything crazy. If you get the spreadsheet filled out soon, I think it should be pretty easy to get everything done to your standard. Okay, <laughs> maybe it's to my standard, but I'm a perfectionist. I want to make sure you get exactly what you want. Besides, I doubt I'll have any trouble being around you for a long weekend. Um, I... I didn't mean that the way it came out. I just meant... Oh, you got a close parking spot. That was fast. Okay, well, it was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you for considering me to be your girlfriend. <laughs> and I look forward to your email. Oh, wait! We forgot about kissing. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I forgot to go over this. Okay, so normally we'd have a little time before the big event to have some physical interaction together and get the first kiss out of the way, if that's something you wanted as part of the deal. If we do it for the first time in front of your family and either of us look hesitant or uncomfortable, it'll be totally obvious this whole thing is a fake. But... If that's not something you'd normally do in front of family, I totally get it. I've had some people tell me they thought kissing was more intimate than sex, and others who don't like any sort of physical contact. So we can definitely figure out something if you don't... If you do. Okay. So, if you're comfortable with it, we can just do a quick kiss now, get the jitters out of the way, and then everything else will feel a lot more natural afterward. Um, I, I was thinking we could do it right here, by the car, if that's okay. Okay. <laughs> I promise, I'll be gentle. That'll do. <sighs> okay. Well, how do you feel about that? <laughs> Relatively painless? <laughs> Good. I think, um, I think we'll be able to sell it to your family. Sure. <clears throat> okay. Well, um, Ella, I, I will, hmm, I will talk to you soon. <clears throat> Bye.